Hi, it's Mac, me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And one of my viewers had watched one of my videos and then showed me what she did with it. And I was so impressed that I had to ask her how she did it. And she kind of explained it, but I still don't 100% understand how she got it so smooth. But I'm going to attempt to kind of show you how I drew this. Um, and maybe somebody will chime in with a better way or I'll figure out a better way. But, so it's just like curlicues, and this happens to be a square, which made it a little bit easier. So we're just going to, we're going to take an ellipse and just not hold down the control button and make an ellipse. We're going to go to objects and convert it to a curve. When we do that, we get nodes. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to take and select the bottom node, and I'm going to right-click and break it apart. By doing that, now I can... And if you look, I've clicked on that and it's going to the left. So I'm going to just nudge it to the left. Whoop, wrong way. I'm going to nudge it to the right. I'm going to nudge it to the left. And all I'm looking for is to get it past the circle. Now, it doesn't look like a circle anymore, but I'm going to take these two nodes and delete them. So now we've got a good clean sweep. These two uh, objects are, exact, are exactly, the, I've lost my rulers. Um, don't need them this time. But we're going to go and turn that thing into like a six-point line. Well, let's make it a little bit thicker because I made it quite a bit bigger. Let's make it eight. And then I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to make it thicker still. I'm going to make it 12. Then let's go to object and convert the outline to an object. And we're going to left-click, right-click. And by doing that, now if we look, and that's why it's so big, it's five inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor on five inches. And then when I nudge this over, made a duplicate, it matched. And now I can go in and I'm going to keep one of these. So I'm going to make a duplicate and just put it over here. And now I can get rid of this line between them because it nudged it exactly where it needs to be. Now this time, instead of changing my nudge, I'm just going to make a copy and I'm just going to nudge it twice. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that line. That way I only have to delete that line one time. And I'm going to do a couple of more. I'm going to grab it all. I'm going to hit the plus key. And I'm going to nudge it four times. You see, if I go five, it's too many. So that's probably enough for this video. And take the virtual segment delete key. Now, these are maybe still broken apart. And they are. You can see these four are separated than those four. So what I'm going to do is take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. And then I'm going to nudge it up out of the way or nudge it down. Now, if you remember, I kept a copy. So I'm going to just put this anywhere up on the screen and I'm going to uh, left click, right click. Now, remember, I've got this extra one. So I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Just put a little bit of an angle and you could play with that. You could make it uh, 22 and a half or whatever you want, but then you just kind of place it in here kind of evenly, like the same distance from each one. Uh, don't worry too much about the placement of the, the. Uh, just try not to make it off that 45 degree mark. I would suggest go ahead and uh, put, you know, if you grab this with the four point cross, you can put it right there on that note. Now we're going to have a little bit of roughness between the transition, but it'll work. Now I can delete those two lines and delete that line and delete that line. Now, the only thing I wish I would have done is made another copy of this, and I still can. And I'm going to move it out of the way, but I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Well, I guess because I made a new object, it's just 45 again. And it's almost putting it back to where I need to be going down. So now, and if you wanted it perfect, I should have done it a different way and kind of watch where I put it, but I'm going to think it was right in there, maybe a little bit closer, but you can get the idea with the video. Now, because I made this copy, it doesn't have but one of the legs, but that doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to just delete those lines. Now, at this time, I would go ahead and smart fill this. One, you'll make sure it's not going to leak. And two, we're going to clean up 
I'm going to left click, right click. I'm going to clean up my transition spot. I'm going to take my take the nodes and just delete them. So now it kind of looks like it flows a little bit better. Now here's what kind of the key part of this. I'm going to hit the plus key and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to take this one and put it right there. It actually snapped to it, made life a little easier, but it didn't get on it perfectly. So I'm going to grab that four point cross right there and snap to it. Then I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete this. See where I'm going? Now I've got really a lot of the parts. I'm going to go in and smart fill it again, which is going to make all those one piece. I'm going to move them out of the way. I'm going to go and get rid of these because they do me no good anymore. And I wish I would have made my line thicker. So I'm going to left click, right click, plus key on the keyboard, mirror it both directions. And then all I have to do is take this and match it up to there and, and just make sure it is. And if you took your time, I'm pretty sure you could get it looking a little bit better than I made it. So you have to delete the two lines. There's one going to be there and one going to be here. So just take the virtual segment delete key. And at this time, you could weld it. I get so accustomed to using the smart fill tool. And there you have a solid ring of a, and it would look a lot better if, if the the ring is almost too late to uh, do, do anything. And you can't really, on something like this, you can't really contour it. Uh, we could play around with it, but uh, you'd be a lot better off if you made your rings a little bit. You can see I use the same, well, let's try this. Let's just try making it smaller. And I'm pretty sure it's going to say the same. Yep, it's exactly. So if we would have taken one of those in the start and just made it a little bit wider of a, a line, uh, it would look a little bit better. But if somebody wants to chime in and knows a better way, I'd sure like to know it. And uh, I might make another one. Anyway, and then you could, I mean, there's a lot you could do with this. You could, you know, take different colors and fill it in and, uh, you know, make it look really special. Uh, depending on what you're wanting to do, you know, like do half of them in one color and the other half in another color. Um, you could always fill in the center, you know, with a total different color if you wanted something because it's not going to leak anywhere. You could actually fill in the outside uh, if we put a rectangle and take the smart fill tool on a different color. Uh, I'm just giving some, well, we wouldn't want to use that because it would match the blue. But it just gives it a totally different look if you look at that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.